Okay, so I kind of started a brand new series on my Instagram. Go follow that link down below. And it's basically a series where it's really only excluded on Instagram. Maybe I'll move it to YouTube Shorts and stuff. But basically, I pick a, I do a rap filter, and then whatever rap like rapper that filter lands on, or whatever rapper the filter lands on, just done that twice. I listen to the most popular song or what you guys recommend me. So again, follow me on Instagram. The link is down below. And it landed on Hobson. I didn't really get any requests by the time we're recording this. I'll try to be more um, accurate with posting uh, the Mystery Thursdays, as I'm going to call it. It's probably not going to be in the title, but hey, this is my first time listening to Hobson. It might have Hobson 5. Maybe I'll check out the rest if I enjoy this. Let's go. Leave like a subscribe. Let's hit it. Smoking blunts, having the corona. Man, I hate rap, but if the shoe fits, wear it. I become a freak of nature, all the kids stare. Who walk around bumping raw with the shit blaring, saying fuck school and dropping out like a miscarriage. I'm embarrassed, and I'm ashamed I played a part in this devilish game, making your common sense perish. But I ain't taking the full blame, cause most of you chumps running around here ain't never had strict parents. All of your brain cells rotten from weed. You feeling like if you ain't got it, life's not as complete. You having sex with every motherfucking body you see. Mm, hold on. We, you feeling like if you ain't got it, life's not as complete. You, mm, you got parents, all of your brain cells rotten from weed. You feeling like all your brain cells rotten through weed? Like if you ain't got it, like like you ain't got it, it's not as complete. You life is not complete, bro. Like that is like so true. Uh, 11 years ago in 20, 2012, mm. dang, and sorry about that. That's my recent video being uploaded. Um. That is like true to this day. A lot of people feel addicted to that, to that, and they feel like they gotta, you know, take that. You have a sex with all of your brain cells rotten from weed. You feeling like if you ain't got it, life's not as complete. You have a sex with every motherfucking body you see. With a past so dark to Satan to jump out of his seat. But still you out in these streets thinking you hot as can be. Without the knowledge to lead, so you just follow the sheep. Making sure your lame swag is all polished and clean. While your favorite rapper's like, yeah, he got it from me. You been brainwashed by a fake life that you used to live in. When I say the word fun, what do you envision? Probably drinking and smoking out with your crew and chilling with clueless women. You trying to bang, bumping new edition. Is that all you think life really is? Well, if so, then you're a fucking idiot. I honestly feel like grabbing your head and hitting it. Matter of fact, you don't even deserve a brain. Give me it! Do you even have any goals aside from bagging these hoes and packing the ball? Well, let me guess. No, you're only in school because your parents make you go. And all you do is play beer pong and hang out with the bros. Yo, society's got you living for a whack cause. You're a fucking adult with no skills at all. You don't read any books or play ball. You don't draw. You literally do nothing at all. Still, you fiend for the glam. I like the bar about before about how all you, your parents do is go like just I gotta go back and listen to that. Any goals aside from bagging these hoes and packing the ball? Well, let me guess. No, you're only in school because your parents make you go, and all you do is play beer pong and hang out with the bros. Yeah, like I feel like you know, most high schoolers nowadays probably do that. Like they probably do. I mean, I've been out of high school for like two years. This is like, geez, it's been that long. It's been that long and I wanted to forget high school, so I gotta now think when did I graduate? Two years ago. Yeah, two years. So there's that. So I don't know if they're still doing that. I mean, hey. I... You're only in school because your parents make you go, and all you do is play beer pong and hang out with the bros. Yo, society's got you living for a whack cause. You're a fucking adult with no skills at all. You don't read any books or play ball. You don't draw. You literally do nothing at all. Still you fiend for the glamorous fruits you don't have Cause you idolize rappers that do And all they say is I got money in a stack to the roof And now you think that it's gonna magically just happen to you? How? Your lazy ass don't commit to labor You pick something up, try it out, and put it down two minutes later Then you complain about your life cause it ain't getting catered Now whoever tries to call you on your bullshit's a hater? You wanna Hold on Your lazy ass don't commit to labor You pick something up, try it out Your lazy ass don't commit to labor out and put it into you how your lazy ass don't commit to labor you pick something up try it out and put it down two minutes later and, and you pick it up 
Try it for two minutes, then try something later. Then you complain about your life because it ain't getting catered. Now, whoever tries to call you on your bullshit's a hater. You want to. <laughs> That's kind of true, bro. Like, if people like try something for like two minutes, like, you know, and they call you out for it and you're like you're a hater that's that's like kind of you know ironic because in reality it's like you didn't try this and it's true they're calling you out on your bullshit technically you complain about your life because it ain't getting catered now whoever tries to call you on your bullshit's a hater you want to succeed you have to try or one day you'll get older and regret it all because you can't provide your friends are low lives don't act surprised look just cut the bad fruit off of the tree make the sacrifice girls stop acting like you want a guy with traits like romeo bitch that's a fucking lie you always talk about how every man's fake and you can't take it and you want something real shut up tramp save it twice a week you put on your makeup and damn bracelets and head to the club half naked with your ass shaking pulling the low life nigga who claim he cash make it till you let him hit find out he work at the gas station one of them niggas got you pregnant and you can't raise it but you caused it your actions made a fat statement you want romeo to knack patient and stop fronting like he in the club posted in the back waiting it's the club where guys put on a new persona after they get loaded with a few coronas they always shouting and wild out with habits that very few can don't then they look for beautiful brainless bitches like you to bone them then when they leave you you cry and cry talking about oh my god i can't find the guy i've spent so many years and i've tried and tried why am i even on earth i should die you want romeo you're not worthy you're cock thirsty you're nasty and probably got herpes sometimes the secret to find is to stop searching try a new formula because right. your last was try not to talk about this is kind of making me uncomfortable a little bit but we got herpes sometimes the secret to find is to stop searching try a new formula because really your last was not working the term real niggas publicly used and i need to know what it means because i'm fucking confused are you one for always busting your two with nothing to lose and something to prove the homies up in your crew is it because you selling drugs to get loot and brag about how you done been shot and stabbed like it's fun to be you but your life's a struggle right and you just hustling through nah you hamster ass nigga you just stuck in the loop then why do black people gotta be the only ones who can't evolve Cause you in the streets acting like Neanderthals Clear you can't stand the law You lost is in the band and dog And all you interested in is fighting, rapping, and basketball I can't even fuck with you Cause if we out in public You gon' get caught stealing some shit And get my ass in trouble too You'll get old and be nothing Living life in these streets Thugging and starting shit with anybody mean mugging Look at you, a real nigga Think of your life's cool Girls used to turn me down for guys who were like you Till you grab their heart and shove a spearhead right through Then they regret it because it wasn't the right move Your real nigga talk seems bogus A real nigga don't brag about about being real as long as he knows it and his future doesn't seem hopeless a real nigga stays out of jail handle shit and he keeps focused to all you rappers who soul is out in the wrong you inspire the issue i wrote about in this song you go to pile on the young who roam around in the slums see this is what happens when rap's overcrowded with bums hope the hour is long when i'm rolling out with your tongue the man above is my guide you know the power is strong all you menace and freaks are only in it for cheese and the mass control limit i kind of like yeah basically you're saying that like uh monitor rappers kind of you know uh influence you know other people and probably in 20 like i've seen comments of this video like 2019 yeah that's true like it it really is like Stays out of jail, handle shit and he keeps focused. To all you rappers who soul is out in the wrong, you inspire the issue I wrote about in this song. You go to pile on the young who roam around in the slums. See, this is what happens when rap's overcrowded with bums. Hope the hour is long when I'm rolling out with your tongue. The man above is my guide, you know the power is strong. All you menace and freaks are only in it for cheese. And the mass control limit was breached. Fuck hip hop. They only in it for cheese. And any eyewitness can see. They purposely making the innocent weak. My existence on this planet's for you. I ain't only here to benefit me. Yeah, we need to make a change while there's still time. It is hard, and sometimes I struggle trying to reveal mine. I can guide you if you feel. Okay, let's go. Let me go back a little bit. Let me only in it for cheese and the mass control. Only in it for cheese, aka pesos. That's the type of cheese. I'm assuming that's what he means when he say, says uh, cheese. Limit was breached. Fuck hip hop. They only in it for cheese, and any eyewitness can see. They purposely making the innocent weak. My existence. They're purposely making the innocent weak and they're in it for cheese. In it for cheese. And any eyewitness can see. They purposely making the innocent weak. My existence on this planet's for you. I ain't only here to benefit me. Yeah, we need to make a change while there's still time. It is hard, and sometimes I struggle trying to reveal mine. I can guide you if you feel blind. I just need you to be willing to journey into my ill mind. Brought to you by the Ill Minds of Wired Side Productions. My 
stops him. Is he right? And Jordan Benton? What? I know. What is Jordan got to be doing with this? And is he right? I reacted to both of them on Chris Webby. <laughs> All right. Um, didn't expect those names to pop up. Funk volume 2012. Is that a, is that an album? Just curious. I'm not really, uh, not really into, uh, Hobson's, you know, background, if that makes sense. Like, I don't really know that much about Hobson. If that makes sense. Uh, in light of Hobson album. Haywire. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going through. I don't know what that means really. Uh, well, I can tell you that, uh, on the recent album, knock madness uh looks like uh they were featured on the album i just huh that's a uh, it's very you know it's very i don't know that's curious like i've always kind of been a fan of those two anyways thoughts of the song sorry for getting distracted um uh, one i like i like the idea of this uh series it's kind of like a chris webby raw thoughts you know but more focused on certain people, not really politics, but like people in general. Uh, so there's that. And it feels, you know, good and it feels relatable, which I hope he's, you know, aiming for at the most here. And I feel like, you know, the message still kind of stands in 2024 to this day, to be honest, because music is a big, you know, inspiration to people. It, but literally is probably what gets you for your day, if anything. So there's that. So I kind of agree with what he's saying about the music part and pretty much everything in the song. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, that's all I got to say. So with that, I'm going to head to my outro. Did you enjoy this video? He did. Leave a like to push the video out there. Leave a comment down below if you want me to continue this uh, mystery series. If so, I'll probably uh, retitle it Mystery Thursday. And finally... Hit the subscribe button to help me just cool 4K subscribers before the year ends. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.